start your journey. I'm so glad you're here. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're just finding me, big, big welcome aboard. Please make sure you like this video if you find it helpful. Share, comment, but most of all, subscribe so you'll see my content when I do upload, which is a couple times a week, um, or at least I try to. Could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, just a little chit chat, might be a grocery haul. I do tend to do a lot of those. Um, but nonetheless, I want you to be friends and family on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell. Now this morning, I've already had my coffee. I'm on to my next drink of choice, which is Milo's Yellow Cap Tea. I have a little bit of addiction, I must say. Um, but my favorite Pioneer Woman jar with a cute little lid and straw. Got this at Walmart. I think it was like under $5 actually. So that's what I drink out of, my water or my tea mostly. Um, but this morning I want to come to you and bring you a new recipe, a new breakfast recipe. I'm always looking for something new and a way to get in a food that I don't really like. Well, that food would be cottage cheese. Say it isn't so, I know some of you love it, but I can't get past the texture of it. Not so much the taste, but the texture. So I was on Pinterest perusing for recipes as normal, and I came across a blended cottage cheese pancake recipe. At first I thought, ugh, I don't know, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. I wanna turn the camera down, I wanna show you what's in it. We're gonna make it, I'm gonna let it sit so it will thicken up, and then I'm gonna bring you back um, for the cooking of them, and we'll give it a taste test. So let me turn the camera down. All right, get my jar out of the way. Okay, so what we've got is quarter cup of quick cooking oats, okay? We're actually going to make oat flour in my Pampered Chef blender, cooking blender, but if you have like a blend jet or any um, food processor that will grind, then you can make, make this. Okay, so there's a quarter cup of quick oats. We have got two tablespoons of, I'm using Kodiak um, flapjack buttermilk mix, but the recipe, original recipe called for Bisquick, so I think any kind of flour of your choice would work in addition to the oat flour that we're gonna make. We've got um, the equivalent of two egg whites here. I just used the liquid egg whites in the carton. We've got um, three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk. More if we need it, if the consistency is too thick once we get it blended. Um, half a cup of low fat, I think this is Breakstone, it's just what I found at Walmart, cottage cheese, the small curd. I'm going to add um, a half a teaspoon of this really super strength um, vanilla. My friend Martha Constant, who is um, a Pamper Chef rep, she sent me a goodie box, and this was one of the things that she sent me. I'm gonna link her page down below as well so you can check her out. But um, this should be super tasty. It is um, double strength Madagascar bourbon pure vanilla. Oh, I think it's gonna be delicious. Now I'm adding two things that the recipe didn't call for. I'm adding two tablespoons of PB Fit peanut butter because I love peanut butter pancakes. And I had a banana that was left over that I didn't use for my um, banana pudding cheesecake in a jar last night. So I'm going to add that as well. All right, so let's get started. It'll be a little noisy. Um, so just hang with me. Let's put in our oats first and let's, I want to grind those first. The recipe didn't say to do that, but I want to do that first. Uh, okay. I've got my cooking blender on grind. So let's give it a start. Okay. You're going to hear my little puppy growling too. He's growling at the garbage man outside. Here we go. would normally go for two minutes on this cycle, but goodness, I think it's already done. Oh yeah, maybe just a couple more seconds. You see that flower flying out of there? Wow. Here we go. This blender is amazing. I, I used to be a Pampered Chef rep, and um, I, you see me cook with a lot of Pampered Chef items. Um, but this is one I love because you can make soup in here. You can make your own nut butters. Oh my goodness, it's, it's endless in here. Your own hummus, 
lots and lots. Okay, so the next thing we need to add is um, our Kodiak mix. All right, let's put that in. I'm gonna add my peanut butter. Okay, all right, I'm gonna give that another little zhuzh. All right, just to get it mixed up. And I'm going to cancel that because then we don't need to grind it any longer. Okay, we're going to add in, going to add our cottage cheese. Here we go. Goodness, guys, I hope this is going to be good. I want it to be good. If you've had blended cottage cheese pancakes before, drop me a comment below and let me know how you made yours. If you liked them, you didn't like them. Okay, here's our eggs. Okay. You know, one thing that it did not call for that I'm going to add, because I like my pancakes extra fluffy, so I'm going to add about a teaspoon of baking powder, just as a little added insurance. All right, I'm going to add our vanilla. Oh, goodness, this smells so yummy. Okay, just a half a teaspoon because it's double strength here and it, I can smell it and tell that it's super concentrate. All right, now let's add our banana. I'm just gonna break it up. It got a little browned overnight, but we're not even gonna know it. All righty, here we go. Let's blend this up. All right, let's put it on, um, I don't wanna put it on smoothie. Well, maybe I will. Let's put it on smoothie for just a minute just because we need to get it blended. Oh wow, look. All right, let me scrape the sides down, see what it's looking like. All right, guys, goodness, I think, I think this might be almost ready. One more little mix. It smells like peanut butter banana. Oh my goodness. All right, one more little mix. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let you see it, but I'm gonna let it sit and then I'll bring you right back. Look at that, oh goodness. I can't even tell there's cottage cheese in there. Oh wow, I'm so excited. Okay, let me let this sit, kind of rest, and get a little fluffy, and then I'll bring you back for cooking. One minute. Hey y'all, I'm back. All right, it's thickened up pretty good, but I do think it's gonna make more than the four pancakes that the recipe said it would make. And um, the, the recipe is meant to be one serving, and I don't know about you, but I love my pancakes. So. This whole, if I were to eat this whole entire serving, it is six WW points or six bites if you're following healthy. Um, that's including my sugar-free maple Grove Farms syrup. So I'm going to get these cooked. Uh, you see they're gonna be really good sized pancakes. I'm gonna get these cooked and then we will come back for a taste test. I am so excited. They don't even look like cottage cheese is in there at all. I am so happy. All right, guys, hang tight. Hey, y'all, we're back. They're finished. Oh, my goodness. Look. Okay, I'm going to give you a taste test, but first let me show you two items that were new to me that I found. I'm sure they're not new to everybody, but they're new to me. Jordan Skinny Sauces Salted Caramel and Jordan Skinny Sauces Dark Espresso Sauce. Okay. So I added a little bit over my bananas, and I like to dip my pancakes in my syrup. I don't like my syrup all over my pancakes. So anyway, let's give this a taste test. I think I'm a little close to the camera too. Sorry guys. All right, I'm just super excited. All right, let's get some pancakes. And it did make four really large pancakes. So this is gonna be a yummy breakfast. All right, let's give it a taste test. Let's see if I can tell there's cottage cheese in there. Here we go. Nope, I cannot tell a bit. So it's added protein without the taste and texture of cottage cheese for me. 
that is a thumbs up, win-win, keep recipe. And think about how versatile. You could make lemon flavor and add blueberry fruit. You could make strawberry, add strawberry flavor, add strawberries to the side. The possibilities are endless, endless, endless. So anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by this morning. I'm going to have the rest of my pancakes and get the rest of my day started and um, just have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope that y'all will do the same. I want you to get out and do something for yourself today. Just one thing. It's a little misty and, and muggy where we're at today, but I still think I'm going to try to get out and walk um, and just put myself first for just once. I haven't been walking like I should, and I do really enjoy it. I can listen to a podcast or an audiobook, and my walking goes really, really, really quick. So get out and put yourself first once today. If you do that, whether it's take a walk, read a book, take a bubble bath, just 15 minutes to sit and be quiet with your thoughts. I promise your journey will go so much better if you're loving and taking care of yourself. So get out and do that for yourself today. Drop me a, a comment below. Let me know what you did. Let me know if you've tried a pancake like this or if you're going to try it, maybe what um, flavor combinations you would like to try. Anyway, guys, I will catch you on the next video and thank you so much for joining me. See you soon.